What is important of travel in woodworking education? Oh, travel. Man. You mentioned England and... Oh, yeah. Well, it's very important to... Uh, particularly when you put in your report to the IRS, it's very important that woodworking can only be understood through exotic travel. <laughs> but it's true, uh, all the, uh, the material culture of different uh, environments flows directly from that environment. So the nature of the, uh, uh, the structure of nature there determines the nature of the structures that people create. So what you have to work with determines what you what you made in that land and so it's honest it's honest to the territory so just like food you say you want the terroir of the uh, regional uh, cooking is yeah, same thing in the way that the uh, carving the, the uh, structure the design you think about it uh, England uh, didn't have log houses, did they? Anybody seen the log house where Shakespeare was born? No. <laughs> that was not part of the English culture. So they come here to the New World. What would make sense to build as a house? You build a log house. But they didn't. They cut up these trees, made little timbers, and did timber framey stuff, just like they did in England, because that's what was in their, in their brains. It wasn't until the Swedes and the Scandinavians and the, the people who were used to building log houses, they came in that the English learned to build log cabins, like they oughta. And then they, that was the synthesis, the new synthesis was American woodworking.